In this tutorial, we're going to look how to use it alpha planes that we can create inside the Photoshop um, in a view to create this kind of backdrop scenery. Again, this is all part for the what we can create in the future, uh, very fast and nice epic landscapes, but also it will help with animation. So this is kind of part when inside the Photoshop you can generate these uh, different trees and we'll look how to do this in one part. In another, we'll look how to work with the alpha uh, planes inside the VU, how avoid some hidden um, artifacts, how you can create a little bit better with lighting, shadowing and other things and create a little bit more interesting look inside the VU. One other good reason to have Adobe Photoshop CC that you can create a very nice alpha plane uh, trees and it's very nice filter easy to use so example right here we have it our background and I just feel with 100% uh, black so it's something on the back we'll go to create a new layer and let's rename this to the tree and next we're going to click on a filter and you'll notice right here with the render we have it option the tree so let's open this option and in this option you'll notice you have it a lot of different type of the trees okay by default it's probably go like this with some leaf size so you'll have it with the leaves and you can go and create all these different type of the trees which is kind of very nice because you can just render and use them however for this test what we're going to do we'll just select redwood and you notice right here we have it lighting direction and for our purposes, I would recommend for you, if you go use as alpha map, um, you can use it side if you know how you will lighting. But if you just set lighting direction about 90 degrees or 105, something on the middle, that will work just well because it will go on the middle and it'll give it nice um, lighting. We could change this lighting after inside the view on the alpha plane. But for now, just let's go have it straight. Next, if you want, you can notice right here we can remove amount of the leaves no size leaves so it will be just branches and if you want to create for the winter and it's actually what I'm going to do just as a test then next also we have an um, option for the branch high it's how from the root so if we go very high you can see they're going up and of course if we're going down the branch will start on a low point Okay, we can use it options for default leaves or other things. The by default, you'll notice right here, randomized shape will be disabled. However, um, when I would like to create in a, with Photoshop, if I create the tree, it will create over and over same same tree because you use the same random seed. Instead, what I like to do is enable random shape so each new tree when I start creating, it will have a slightly different shape so I can kind of used inside the view. Um, of course, it's not as complex tree can we create in a view, but again, as a background, as a trees, maybe in a background, if we want to create with plain alpha plane, they work excellent, it will render very fast and good. Also, we have additional options, advanced, where we have a camera tilt, if you go from top or bottom, if we just use it as a zero from front view, we also can additional options for the custom um, color on the leaves, branches, and so on. So more than really, just be sure your camera tilt set to zero and as a basic set um, as you like this for the design. So let's go click OK. And one thing you'll notice with the plant, it's a render in a size. So actually, if I make a little bit narrow, my plant will render smaller. So as example, and it's this maybe help you too with the sizes. So for example, if I'm going and I said, okay, I want to create a little bit narrow, create new layer. And that's things notice right here in a filter, I already have a tree uh, filter enabled. And the reason why, because we use it. And because it's a random enable, this is what we're going to do. So you'll notice how it's a little bit different. Again, notice the tree, because the branches does not touching, it's still be same size. So let's go just make smaller for now. Create new one and render one more. And you notice this tree, the last tree, it's smaller. So it is will fit inside the frame. 
So in some cases, tree maybe will be shorter, not because stop if the branch is going. So it is looking on all from left to right. Let's look on all of those um, options. Okay, so let's go ahead. Make bigger slightly again. Okay, maybe right here, just increase to this size of the plant. Okay, one thing you can always go ahead and save as PNG single tree. You can do this way, um, but also you can create a several of them as a layers and just reposition around. Notice they're all going straight. To actually, we can apply a little bit more um, kind of weird effect by using a filter distortion, and we can use it wave or other option or zigzag. So even with wave, you can notice we can go on vertical. So let's go ahead and reduce amplitude. So we make smaller or maybe just a little bit pop up. Okay, let's go type in maybe about three. On amplitude, we also number of generators. So let's go ahead with a two, reduce amount of generators. And we also can play around with wave links and other properties if you want to apply it. But overall, if you apply this one, you can see it's already start kind of twirling. And we can also bend it. You have always options to do. So you can always go even going inside the transform and use a distortion perspective we can even use it warp type so if you want it we can adjust slightly you know bend it this way so you have it quite a bit fun you can have with these trees and included puppet warp or any other ones okay so right here okay and this way we can go create some trees Okay, let's go ahead and just slightly rotating. And as well, you know what, let's go to increase size. So one reason why I'm doing this, I want to extend them a little bit. Create almost like panoramic view. Okay, we'll go take the trees and this way we can just place them around. Okay, we have a smaller plant. The other way is remember if you want to create also a small plant in a scenery, you don't need rescale or what you need to do, create new layer. Just make smaller selection. And we go to filter, render, tree. And we'll just use already preset, so we'll click OK. And you notice right here, tree will render inside the selection, so we don't need it try to create a bigger smaller we can create a multiple trees okay let me go ahead and pause this tutorials and i will create just same way i will create a different size of the trees and maybe try to bend some of them and i will resume this um, tutorial after we'll create maybe about 10 15 more trees okay so right here you can see create a bunch of trees i don't really um care about naming these layers because this point i want to actually group them together and merge group so overall we have it one group of the trees you can see right there if you want a little bit more complex we can save as is you always can just duplicate it if you need it you can go ahead and add even simpler ways so we can Size, resize. I'll just create and always the filter, no distortion, uh, wave, and we can just do this as well. So let's go to increase one number of generator one. So I just want to create a little bit less, and maybe right here is 18. Click OK. So just a little bit, you can see. A little bit twisted and we can put them right here so just play around set up your forest your trees how you want it 
but for now I'm just will create only this single next what I want to do I want to save this and preserve uh, transparency so when we want to do we want to save this as a PNG file okay so we'll go right there we'll select PNG set trees and I'll just go save this and um, you can save on a different size I like to have it uncompressed large size you can always go with a smaller but you can see it's saved now and we can go to inside the Photoshop and plot this as well um, just as a test I also saved a single tree so we can see when we import each individual tree